Oh. What's it called? What's the Look up Beachcomber. Beachcomber, Beach Rose Hill. Yeah. And you'll find it. In a couple of days. I might be on it. You will be on it. So tell me, gents, why are you here today? For my grandchildren. Yes, that's a good, that's a, that's a good enough excuse on yeah. its own. That but, is, that is, that yeah. is, because until the people wake up, yep. we have got problems. We have, yeah. You know, it's I, a big, my mate there says there's a big evil coming to this country. So it's, it's not coming, it's already it's here. Already it's here. already here, it's called World Economic Forum. Oh, and this is well. the beginning of it. No, but it's, well, I'm here today because, well, you lose it's a tax on the poor. You can't, Jeez. you can't tax the rich off the road, so you start no. with the poor, the poor. And, That's uh, right. you know, charities, businesses, people are going, it, 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 when they banned smoking in pubs, that was a good thing, stop people who didn't want to smoke, smoke. You can't go in a pub and pay £12.50 and still smoke. Right? No. And if you're going to save the planet with this lie about getting all these polluting cars off the road, why are you giving them to Ukraine? Because it's going to go and pollute over there. That man, Sadiq Khan, I mean, the 4,000 deaths, it was one in 20 years. We all know it's, I mean, off, Ofcom banned his adverts because they were lies. It's, it's proved and proved and proved. He says lied and lied and lied, and everyone knows it. Before him, there was a, the two biggest lies in the world has got to be Johnson and Trump. And he Trumps, Khan Trumps, both of them put Khan, together. Khan is he is the biggest liar in this world, I'll tell you. Yeah, he's the one. Isn't he? Yeah. Every, mouth, every mouthful yeah. comes out as a lie. But you, you've answered the questions of what you asked us. Oh, I know, I'm like that though, no, I can't no, keep my no, mouth shut, no, that's no, the but trouble. You understand what I mean? Yeah. We are here for that reason. Yeah. That, that arsehole, excuse me, I don't know whether it's going. No, you can right. say whatever you like. Yeah, that arsehole needs salting. Yeah. He really does. How do we best sort him if we can't um, if, if we can't vote him? Well, there is vote. Uh, vote street, him out. Mate. People will vote on the yeah. street, and the, the people need to stand together. Stop being divided by these divisive things they put in to split everyone up, force this person to argue with that person. We as a country, every race, religion, colour, lot, we all need to stand together against yeah. a common enemy. And stop fighting each other. Stop getting these. Yeah. And stop believing his lies. I mean, do you remember the lie he said where the dirtiest place in London is in your car? That was been no, no, no. down his tube station. Exactly took the words right out of my mouth, by far the dirtiest I'll do that, place. sorry. Yeah. No, 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 but you're right, you just, you just confirm. I'll, I'll really work right. for London Plus in six years. Do you know my mate Butler? <laughs> I trained him. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, we had a Jeff Butler at Thought Leave Garage. <laughs> All right, yeah. And he was an inspector. Sorry for interrupting, you know, I you couldn't resist. Yeah, yeah I trained him. I couldn't yeah. resist that, I'll stand, love him. Yeah. yeah. Um, up. When those buses started up, yeah. you couldn't see across the garage, then they put the fans on. To suck then, it out the roof? Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. But we stood there, everybody was, then they brought in cleaner buses. Yes. Now they're trying to bring in electric ones, and they've stopped them. Do you know why? No. I keep catching fire. Yeah, was it? Sorry, oh, I did see that. One in ten. Of, well, a certain brand, one in ten catch fire. Yeah. Or was it one in a hundred? No, sorry, I got that wrong. It's one in a hundred. Is it? Yeah. Right. So if lot. you've got if you've got two buses a week for a year, yeah. the chances are one of them catch fire while you're on it. And that's I was a fact. I was in Welling a couple of weeks ago, and we we're doing the doing the air test, and it was about two two point eight on the on the low PMs, and as a bus went past, went up to over thirty. So it's the, it's the transport that's, it, that's making all this pollution. It actually, it actually says it's on the back of the bus, it's clean at the exhaust end. No. Yeah, there's a reason it says exhaust. Zero emission at the exhaust is what it says. If you read the site, it says yeah. zero emissions at the tailpipe. It's the exact yeah. words, right? Which means that, yeah, there's nothing coming out of the tailpipe, which, but it's charged, a lot of them are charged up by diesel generators. Yeah. Right? So, well, so it's not, it's not it. clean, it's just clean at the tailpipe, charged up somewhere else. Yeah. If you really want Carl really wanted to clean the air, he'd get rid of his, his bedding and lane incinerator, which is burning, what was it, 50 tons of, 50,000 tons of rubbish a month from outside yeah, the area? Yeah, yeah, I was down there the that's, other day. That's the biggest yeah. polluter in, in, yeah. in this local area, he's, he's, he's bedding and yeah. lane And his three Land Rovers, eh? not Land Rovers, oh, yeah, no, so he's yeah, got Range Rovers, eh? uh, whatever they yeah, are, anyway. Range Rovers, yeah, yeah. Range Rovers, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're you lose compliant, apparently. And his planes, or well, the planes he uses. Free house. He keeps moving because people keep buying out where he lives. 
<laughs> but look, hopefully people, well, people just need to wake up, stop stop watching the BBC and start researching yeah. stuff for yeah, themselves. That is it. They've got to wake up, taste the coffee. Yeah. I'll tell you what we need. You'll remember, you won't, but you'll remember is the poll tax. What we, we did, what we did yeah. in the, on the days of that poll tax, mate, over that, over that yeah. year, that's what we need to do now. But I've, I've said, unfortunately, a lot of people don't realise the blood on the streets. Oh, we had a lot of blood. Right? Yeah. And I've been I was up Charing Cross when this, the blood flowed in the streets. This, this is going to be blood on the streets if somebody doesn't wake up and pull the plug. Yeah. Well, it, if, it if really paper mile comes in, then the blood will flow. But when people... That is going to be the biggest... What, but it's already going to be in. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. And then you're going to have... Yeah. He's been spending five million a year and he just some wages for people to look at paper mark. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's paying wages for people he doesn't know he's employed. Did you no. see that one? Like, yeah, I did. Money goes, oh, I don't know yeah. where that's going. Yeah, you employ people, you don't know what that you're employed. It, it, we, you, I was just talking about. Okay. He has not accounted for a shortfall of not nine million, mm. nine billion pounds. Right. Where, what has he wasted nine billion pounds on? I don't know. Where has it gone? I don't know. I don't suppose we'll, we, we won't see any figures, will we, until after the election, that's for sure. You can't see, you won't even see him then? Probably uh, not. We'll just see the doctor figures that he's paid, like certain, uh, Royal College of London, was it? He pays them money to sort of massage the figures. Yeah. Yeah, but that was proved, and so they withdrew their report. Yeah. Nothing yeah. happened, didn't they? Well, no, because the, the people that are pulling the strings are the ones which have got the money. That is the problem. Yeah. What I don't understand is how we can have a Prime Minister that's not allowed to tell any lies in, in Parliament, but Khan can tell lies all day yeah. long and get away with it. Yeah. And how can streets. that happen? Why don't why don't they I get him? In, why don't they get him in the House of Commons one day and talk to him in there? All, I believe they've all controlled from my high level. I think they've all sold out to the West. Yeah, yeah. Get him talking to the speaker. Get the speaker to ask him questions, if that's allowed. I mean, the latest one, Khan, he won't even turn up to his own question time. No, no. He's getting destroyed on a daily basis because yeah. he can't answer. He's lied. We all know he's lied. We've proved that he's lied. He can't you have to it. be a good, have a good memory to tell lies. A really good memory, and all his lies are biting him in his ass. Yeah, it's not getting out though, is it? But I know. It, it is. You you look at the amount of cars and goes, yeah, we're we're with you, yeah. But yeah. just hopefully that eventually, when it comes to the polling booth, they can't think. Got to get them there first. That's the trouble. Yeah, that's the problem. Is getting them in yeah. there. But people are suddenly realising. That they have got a vote, yeah, and they're going to. You could have a photograph to vote. Why have I got to have a photograph to vote now? Why? Because 20 Joe Dackies used to come down the road, all with the same name, all at the same address, and all be given a vote. Yes, you know, and, and I'm not talking that racist, but that is exactly what was happening. Yeah, Postal all votes over the world, even in the country. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't believe it. You can't believe in. Uh, you can't believe in. Uh, sort of what, what do they call it? Democracy. Because there is no democracy. No. No. Is it? It's no. all false. It's just to give you the impression of democracy. Uh, you yeah. Know, but you see when like Rishi Sunak said, "Oh, I'll try and get him out." Oh, I can't get him out. How can a prime minister not remove? But not remove the mess. Have the traffic lights come back on? Have they? Stopped? No. Hey. No. Now the traffic lights are out. They're still yeah, out. No, I know. <laughs> Brilliant. Are they all out now? They're always over there as well. Uh, oh no, those ones right over there. Oh yeah, I see them, yeah. But that's it. Something happened to the box that's right over there. Terrible, wasn't it? Yeah, they can't even blame us for it. No, we just parked next to it. Yeah, we can't that. Like that. No, that I think it's brilliant, you know. First thing someone said is, oh, by the way, the traffic looks right. I did see some just stop oil when I was. Yeah, 
We've just been discussing that uh, when the paper mile comes, the blood is going to flow because, um, you know, chaps like my friend here, he remembers the uh, the poll tax days. I think I'll say he remembers what happened. I remember it was like down here. Yeah. But when I rolled the poll tax out, it did it across the whole country. Right? If I remember, the figures may be wrong, but from what I remember, it was something like 200,000 people descended on London. I think 18 million people didn't pay. It, right? Yeah. And that's a problem for them. So, and I, and I can't help think that they learnt from that. So, with you, Liz, they want it nationwide. We all know that. Right? But if you rolled it out across the whole nation, you'd have 200,000 people on London yeah. and 18 million people not paying it. If you just start it, if you just start it in uh, road man, really hard. Um, you start in London, you go north and south circle, and you go M25. No one cares about London if you live in Scotland, they don't give a shit. No. And if you roll it out slowly, 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 people don't really notice. Which they is what's happening now. I mean, what, exactly. Glasgow? Manchester now is oh, that is that in Oxford, in there or not? Yeah, Glasgow. Yeah, Glasgow. In now? Yeah, yeah, in Glasgow, in definitely. In Manchester, they tore it out. Ooh. Yeah. Well, they were going to do that in Canterbury, where they sectioned it off into four areas, but you couldn't travel from your area into another area. You had to go round yeah, a ring road. Yeah. No, they did it in Oxford. Well. Six, six. Different They've already done it in Bath. I mean, I run coaches. You cannot take. A coach load of people now to bar. It's, it's no. prohibited. The price. Is that right? I heard that when, when they shut the M25, as they go off the M25, they're getting done by Eulers. No. Yeah. Is that uh, not right? Have they turned it off? Turned them off? No, no, you could do it. You, no, because I live near there. They're, they're not. Yeah, because if you could end up on the A3, you could end quite yeah. easily. But if you take the right, if you take the wrong turn, yeah. go too far. But the yeah. way that they're saying you've got to go is something like. In it a five mile detour. Oh, it is ridiculous. Well, and no, there's no cameras. No, they send you through West Byfleet, right? That's I know where West Byfleet is because my missus goes to a shop there and it takes us on a good day when the M25 is running totally. it's, like, it's like a single lane country road, right? It's busy as fuck on a good day. Yeah. Now, when I shut the M25, the M25 on a Saturday averagely uh, carries 8,000 cars an hour. So yeah. they've diverted 8,000 cars an hour. Through West Bank, which is a single yeah. V-Bow, yeah. it's a single lane. It, you're not moving. So, but there's no cameras though. No, because I was heard so they you, no. but you won't be able to move. You won't, it won't right. move. You, you, you won't get eight thousand cars through there in a day. So you can get off the M25, do your two hours or whatever, and get back on with no camera. Yeah. Yeah. All right. As fair long as you don't go too far, or take a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there, yeah. there is a way round it, but it's so long. It's a, a essentially a kind of inverse Z. Yeah, isn't it's it? Massive. Yeah, it's massive. But it's all getting people used to not travelling, isn't it? Yeah. Like when you when you got your 15 minute cities coming, you can't just go right. No one's moving out of this 15 minute area. Everyone will go fuck off. But if you slowly make travel so fucking difficult, people are like, not ain't even gonna bother going. Then it, then it's easily it's still like. Do you remember the what was it? The air traffic control glitch the day the schools went back. It's like yeah. sorry, air traffic control. They've got their own air traffic control. They've got backup. The RAF have got air traffic control. Every fucking airport in the country's got air traffic control. Yeah. Like there was no glitch, you just shut it because you don't want people travelling. You shut the M25 because you don't want people travelling. This idea that it's all because one French airline uploaded the whatever they uploaded in the wrong format and that threw everything out. Yeah. Hang on, it wouldn't allow you to upload it in the wrong so, format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another that, lie, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, lie. The, well, the fact that, even if it isn't a lie, the fact that it could be done like that just says how crap the system is. Yeah, yeah. And it, I think if it was that shit, it would have crashed every week. Exactly. Because you've got humans running it. It's, I think people just need to sort of wake up, stop watching the BBC and start searching their own shit. And then yeah. once you... Actually, once actually I, I do disagree with that to an extent. You need to watch a BBC because you need to get the full spectrum of what the media is saying. You need to watch. Oh, and then maybe, 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 let me correct that, maybe yeah. watch the BBC and but then, watch go, and then go and research. Yeah, exactly. You need... Yeah. You need you do need that full spectrum. You know, one of the things, I've watched um, Al Jazeera. I've yeah. watched, when you could watch it, uh, Russia Today. You know, they all give a different perspective of things. But if you just watch one, you get completely Absolutely. Yeah. You've got to watch them all. But it's the educated will watch multiple news sources. 
and oh no, sorry, the educated will only watch one news source, but the uneducated will watch multiple. Who's got more ideas what's going on in the world? I think mean, it's got like awake people and not awake people. Yeah. Well, it's like the cars coming off the streets. Who owned them? The poor. John says thank you very much for watching the video and he hopes you enjoyed it. If you did please subscribe, like and share if you want to. John has asked if you know of any good locations that he could visit. That would be great and if there was any that are drone friendly he would would love to get Beryl the Peril up lol. Anyway, he said ciao for now and see you on the next one. Don't go anywhere just yet. There she was, just walking down the street singing. Everybody knows it, everyone but you.